All right, so we got our uh, rototiller here, 60 inch, king cutter two, all gear driven. Thing has served us faithfully for many years on the back of the John Deere. Now, you know, we only use it a couple times a year, but it does get used. And when I say it gets used, it's not usually tilling a garden. It does till the garden, but it's usually fixing spots in the field or something, maybe cleared an area and it's catching tree roots and rocks, stuff that hasn't been plowed or, you know, touched in years. But anyway, so two years ago, all the bolts, well, not all, well, all the bolts, yeah. These bolts here come uh, out, rattled out, that support the uh, rear differential. And while tilling with my dad, it snapped off this tube. So I pulled it all apart, welded it back together. Well, a couple of days ago, I was tilling and it decided to hit a rock and tore that tube again. And the last time it did stress this, it twisted it up when it torqued it. But uh, this time it actually snapped off the whole bracket right here. So I welded it all back together. That's no big deal over here. That's, you know, put it back together, weld it. Over here on the other side, to fix that tube, you have to take the axle out, make sure it's straight. In order to take the axle out of the rear differential, you have to take the side cover off, take the top gear off, take the lower gear off, uh, separate it from the frame of the tiller, and separate it from the rotor in there separate the axle tube so once i get it all pieced back together weld it up i'm going to put the side cover on put gear oil in i went ahead and added this and this and bolted it right to the factory bolt locations on the differential housing and I mean, literally, there is no axle in this side. This is just the brace side, but it's literally a little rear end that only has one axle. It's a ring and pinion differential coming off your drive shaft, your PTO shaft, out to your gear-driven drop box. But, uh, yeah, so when this thing catches rocks or, you know, tree roots, whatever it may catch, and it will catch stuff, uh... Instead of just having this brace, which there's a lot of area there, and it's not bolted or anything to the frame. It's just welded on the one side and bolted on the axle housing. But this was the only real support for it. This one little bracket and those two little bolts. So when it did get into even heavy wet clay, you could see this whole rear end torquing. So... Especially when you caught something with the tines, it really torqued. Enough to snap the tube, not once, but twice. So, hopefully this is going to be my fix. As I said, I went ahead and cut out some ang wiring for it. Drilled down through the frame on both sides. And bolted it right to the factory housing differential. And I am going to sand it down, put a coat of paint on everything. But now, when that rear end tries to torque, it has three bolts extra now. Right, I mean, prior to this, it only had these two bolts on the back of the differential. And it doesn't really give it any support to keep it from going this way. This whole plate and everything flexed. So now, these are kind of like traction bars on a pickup truck. So now where it tries to flex, it's now fastened down to the frame, front and rear, and to the axle housing. You know, your rear differential. So, if you have a king cutter rototiller and it's set up like this one, and you intend to more or less, uh, for lack of better words, beat it, you know, really run it, you know, we never never had trouble with it for years, but eventually it just caught something that it didn't like. And it has a uh, clutch, a spring-loaded clutch, 
in the PTO drive shaft. So if it does bite something too hard, it's supposed to slip the drive shaft. But uh, yeah, after years of abuse, it did finally give out, not once. That's I said, I fixed it, I welded it a couple years ago. And uh, the other day it let loose again. So hopefully with the added support to the rear differential, I will not have to do it again. So, but yeah, if you're looking at a king cutter or you got to fix it or brace it up, I recommend on this. Hopefully I don't have to do it again. And if you just got one, if it's set up the same way, I recommend on getting two pieces of angle wire and doing the same thing. But uh, yeah, other than that, no complaints. Things work fantastic. It will turn absolutely fresh ground into finely chopped soil. But uh, yeah, just a uh, heads up on it.